Okay, this spinner video is to run you through the preset setups and the calibration process for your rotary machine. So, to get to the presets, again, two choices, press preset or the P. Takes you to your list, one through nine. These ones I've been playing with earlier, so I'm just gonna leave them and start with a fresh one. So I'm coming down to machine number nine. To select this one, I just press and hold it. It takes me into literally a series of choices. So it asks me if I want to modify the current settings or if I want to add a new machine. In this case, I'm going to add a new machine. Okay, uh, it asks me, do you really, really want to change it? And it's like, yes. Okay, so uh, if I'm using a coil, it's a very simple process. Um, in this case, I'm going to use a rotary. So I select rotary. Uh, volts or cycles, volts, it's quite easy, it will just uh, use the voltage as your measurement. If you're using cycles, this is where you need to calibrate the machine. Basically, the, the spinner power supply reads the signal coming from the machine. Some of the signals are quite clean, some of them are pretty grubby. Uh, so we select cycles, basic or advanced. I like advanced, I like to know what the machine's doing. So you've got three choices, auto, from a list, or manual. Manual is something that we, we will be building up a database of machines that are hard to calibrate uh, and you would then actually, you would get the values off us or off the website and you would simply program the two numbers in, press save and that will actually manually calibrate the machine for you. From a list, because it was the guys from Swash Drive who wanted us to build this power supply, we have got all of the Swash Drives basically from the current Gen 8 back through to the Gen 4. Now, you just go in here, you select one from a list, and it takes you through the rest of the steps. In this case, we're going to select auto, but before I do that, I've been running this machine for a few minutes already, so it's warmed up. Uh, I've put a rubber band on here, so that I've got some cons consistent resistance, so that it's able to eat, read a decent signal. Uh, and then I just select auto, and it does it by itself. It'll run the machine for a few moments. selects a low point, and then it runs it at a higher voltage, selects the high point, it says calibration successful. If the calibration fails, it takes you back and you can do it again. Uh, but when it's successful, it brings you to this screen. Uh, skip next, just leaves it as the default name and takes you through the rest of the process. Default's basically the same. It leaves it as the default name, in which case it would be machine number nine. We're gonna select personalize. Okay, now you'll see that, you may be able to see on the video, I'm hoping you can, that there's a little cursor that's flashing over the M. Now, to change the, the name, just select up, it takes you through the alphabet and numbers. Uh, when you've got the letter you want, just press next. I mean, it's all pretty simple. Oops, wrong way. I'm an OP. Anyway, you get the idea. Basically, you just go through. And you can just clear that back there, backspace. Make sure you take your finger out. <clears throat> okay, SP, next. Next. Okay, we'll leave it at that so you don't get bored watching me try and type this. Um, and you just say done. So that just says spin. Uh, select done. So are you happy with the name? It's like yes. If not, you can go back in and change it. Okay, then it tells you so it gives you a summary. So it's machine number nine, it's called, in this case we just named it a spin. It tells me that it's uh, on cycles and it's advanced and it's a rotary machine. It's like, yep, that's what I want. Save and exit. There you go, it's done. So that will be a default setting. If you want to make that something different,
100 for example, I just press and save that value. So the next time I turn it on, I'll be running at 100 cycles. There we go, spin, 100 cycles. There you go.